Welcome back. You are going to love our next guest. He has not only led a fascinating life as a former corporate spy, he's also an author with some very sage advice to help the rest of us avoid being duped, or as he likes to call it, rused. Author of Ruse, Lying the American Dream from Hollywood to Wall Street, Robert Kerbeck joins us now. Thanks for being on Lift Off, Robert. Thanks for having me, Jeannie. Okay, Ruse, Mm -hmm. Lying the American Dream from Hollywood to Wall Street. First off, your family was in the car business. How in the world do you switch from the car business to becoming a corporate spy? Ah, that's funny. Yeah, so the Kerbeck name is very well known in the uh, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia area. And um, they've been in business since 1899. I was supposed to take over the family business, but it just car sales, the trickery of car sales didn't feel right to me. So I wanted to be an actor. I moved to New York. Actors need survival jobs. And who stumbles into a career as a corporate spy? But that's what happened to me. So was it like men in black? You were alone at a bar. Somebody (laughs) tells you to come to this address that you don't know about? You know, it was a woman had this small secretive firm that spied on Wall Street. And she only hired actors because she needed people that could do accents, create characters, voices, do impressions. And so um, I got hired. And at first, I didn't even know really what the job entailed. And then as time went on, I began to see that we were extracting really valuable secrets from major corporations. I can only imagine, as you said, this is super valuable Mm. for competitive firms. Yeah, right. I mean, we all know the Russians spy on the Chinese, the Chinese spy on us. But what most people are shocked to find out is that major corporations spend, forget about millions, forget about tens of millions. They spend hundreds of millions of dollars a year to spy on each other. Wow. And sometimes some of these tactics and techniques are so brilliant that I often Mm. find myself thinking, I don't know if I'm smart enough to be a bad guy. Mm. Because you have to be really smart (laughs) to be able to figure out how to make your way into these businesses. But for those of us who want to help businesses avoid being hacked, fished, duped, or what you call rused, Mm -hmm. what's your advice? Well, you know, that's what I talk all the time about now with the book and on podcasts and shows like this is, you know, there are a couple of very simple things we can all do to protect ourselves. The first thing is spies, hackers, you know, fisher scammers, they're always using time pressure to get you to do things that you shouldn't do. You know, you get that text, you get that email, you get that phone call, you must do this right now. Click on this right now. You've been hacked. You're a victim of fraud. You better do this. And you have to take, I would say, when we were kids, we had the five second rule. You know, yeah. if you drop the gum, you could put it back in your mouth. Okay, yeah. we're adults. We can handle a little bit more. 30 seconds. Don't click on anything for 30 seconds. When you get that strange text, email, phone call, don't do anything. Put the device down, walk away, because as soon as you take 30 seconds, all of a sudden you go, wait a second now, this isn't right. You know, you've you've given yourself that time because they're really trying to pressure you to do something quickly. And unfortunately, a lot of times, once you've done it, it's too late. True, so true. This has been super insightful, Mm -hmm. very interesting. I know you've got a book out. I can't wait to read it. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Oh, thanks for having me. It's been fantastic. For those of you that are going to take your 30 seconds to process all of this, make sure you come back because we've got more great guests after the break.